Hello everybody, welcome back to Healthy Foodie Girl. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Shauna, Healthy Foodie Girl. And I'm Ella, Healthy Foodie Girl Mini. And on this channel, we have easy, healthy, and delicious recipes just for you. Chocolate is my absolute favorite and I'm super excited because today we have a chocolate chocolate chip cookie. It has all of the chocolate that you're looking for when you're having a chocolate craving or you just want something really decadent. What I love about this is it's so decadent and delicious, but it doesn't have all the fat and I've cut the sugar in it and you're not going to miss it at all. You've got chocolate in the cake part and then you've also got mini chocolate chips distributed in it. So you're gonna have a delicious chocolate burst in in every bite. And it makes a ton of cookies and we've been having them every morning. They're so good. One with a cup of coffee in the morning, you cannot go wrong. Or a glass of milk. <laughs> Let's get into this video, but first make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already and hit the dinger so you get notifications when our next video comes out because we don't want you to miss the thing. Now let's get into this video. Let's gather our ingredients for this delicious chocolate chocolate chip cookie. The first thing you're going to do is take one cup of all-purpose flour. You're going to want to sift this flour before you put it into the bowl, so grab your sifter and go ahead and stick it through the sieve. After you've put the flour in there, you're going to go ahead and do the same with the cocoa powder. You're going to use one-fourth of a cup of cocoa powder and put that through the sieve as well. Make sure that you're using cocoa powder that doesn't have any sugar added. You're going to go ahead and put these through the sieve so that everything is mixed and combined perfectly. You definitely want to do this step before you go and make your cookies and mix them. We're going to put all of the dry ingredients together so you can go ahead and put everything through the sieve if you'd like. But definitely do the flour and the cocoa powder. The next thing you're going to do is add one teaspoon of baking soda. You can mix that into the mix or put it through the sieve. You're gonna wanna put the baking soda in with the cocoa powder and the flour. Definitely mix it until all the ingredients are combined. You can stick that through the sieve. I just kind of forgot, but definitely it helps make it mix together better. Go ahead and combine all of it until it looks evenly combined and everything is mixed perfectly. The next thing you're going to do is add a half a cup of monk fruit. This will sweeten up your cookie without adding a ton of calories. Go ahead and put the monk fruit in. If you prefer using sugar or stevia or any other, you can do that. Now I'm gonna use some real sugar here and I love the combination of the monk fruit with the sugar. It kind of makes it perfect. I've used one fourth of a cup of brown sugar and it is such a great combination. It sweetens up the cookie without adding too much sugar for the calories. This is such a great option. I really, really love mixing the two together. So go ahead and mix that brown sugar, monk fruit, and all of your other ingredients. You're definitely going to want to use room temperature butter here, as well as room temperature egg. I sliced the butter kind of thin so that it got to room temperature faster. You're going to use two tablespoons of regular butter. You could use light if you preferred, but in this recipe, we used two tablespoons of regular butter. The next is one fourth of a cup of no sugar added applesauce and we're going to add all the wet ingredients together you're going to take your one egg which is also at room temperature this helps with combining the ingredients at room temperature making fleur a fluffier delicious cookie when everything is at room temperature go ahead and put that egg into your wet mixture and the next thing we're going to do is add one teaspoon of vanilla put that into your wet ingredients and one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. You're going to go ahead and put this in as well. You can mix this with a hand mixer or you could do it by hand. I prefer using the hand mixer as it makes it faster and it's a little easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine all of the wet ingredients and then we will add it to the dry ingredients. Mix it up until it's nice and smooth. It may take a little while, so I definitely think using the electric mixer is a better option than trying to do this by hand. Once it's all combined, go ahead and stick your dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Do a little bit at a time until it starts to combine and then you could add more. Continue mixing the ingredients together 
until all of them are combined. Like I said, do half of the dry ingredients and mix, and then go ahead and add the rest of the dry ingredients. As you can see, this is all starting to go combined perfectly. When this is done combining, you can turn off your mixer and scoop out the batter. Scooping out the batter and then still combining it with a spatula when you're done just to make sure that all the ingredients are perfectly mixed together. This is a little bit of a wet cookie dough, but that's okay. It's sure to make a delicious one. After you do that, you're gonna take 36 grams of mini chocolate chips. This is the last thing you're gonna do and the last thing that you're gonna combine into the cookie dough. I like to do this after the main ingredients of the cookie dough is mixed together. And I like to hand combine this and make sure that it's all combined evenly with the mini chocolate chips. The next thing I like to use is a melon ball scooper. This helps to make all of the cookies the same size and easy to put on the mat. You're gonna wanna use either parchment paper or one of these silicone baking mats. These really help so that the cookies don't stick. This melon ball scooper is perfect to make these cookies. You're gonna go ahead and evenly distribute them onto your baking mat or your parchment paper. Like I said, the cookies are a little wet, but don't worry, they turn out delicious. Look how good these look. They're so chocolate and satisfying, I know you're going to love them. They're a perfect treat with a glass of milk. You can even dip them in there. They're super delicious warm with the chocolate chips inside melting all into the chocolate. I know you're gonna love this recipe. Look at how wonderful this looks. We hope you enjoyed this recipe and if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you make this recipe or any of our other delicious recipes, make sure to tag us on Instagram at www.healthyfoodiegirl or you can use the hashtag healthyfoodiegirl on Instagram. We would love to see your creations that you've made using our recipes. It makes us super excited when we see that you're enjoying them. Thanks so much for watching. Keep cooking! <laughs>